Dr. Stepan Asturian is the executive director of the Armenian Studies program at the University of Berkeley, uh, California, Berkeley. He is also the William Saroyan adjunct assistant professor in Armenian and Caucasian history in the Department of History of that university. Professor Asturian was born in France. He received his licence, BA, uh, Maitrice, MA, and DEA uh, from the University of Paris, uh, Sorbonne. Um, his interest in modern Armenian history led him to move to UCLA, where he earned a second MA and also completed his PhD in modern Armenian and Caucasian history in 1996. He is currently on the academic board of the Zorian Institute, editorial board of the Armenian Review, advisory board, advisory committee of the uh, Caucasus and Central Asia program UC Berkeley, and on the academic board of Center of Contemporary Armenian Studies, Paris, France, uh, Professor Asturian served as the editor-in-chief of the JUSER, uh, the UCLA Journal on, of Middle Eastern Studies, 1988 to 1990. He edited uh, Memoricon, Los Angeles Arvest Publishing, and has authored about 20 articles and essays on modern Armenian, Ottoman, and Azerbaijani history on the post-Soviet Caucas uh, Caucasian politics. His latest research on Armenian-Turkish and Armenian-Kurdish relations in the 19th century, entitled The Silence of, of the Land, Agrarian Relations, Ethnicity and Power, will appear in a question of genocide, 1915 Armenians and Turks at the end of the Ottoman Empire, edited by Ronald Grigor Suni, Fatma Müge uh, Gocek, and Norman uh, Neymark. Uh, his most recent publications include Armenian Demography, the Homeland, and the Diaspora, Trends and Consequences in uh, Armenian et Grec on the Diaspora Approche Comparative. <laughs> Sorry for the misspellings. Dr. Asturian is currently completing the manuscript of, on a book uh, on the origins of the Armenian Genocide using sources written in eight languages and arch archival materials from half a dozen countries. And so we invite Professor Asturian. Thank you, Dr. Panosian, for this invitation. Uh, and thank you for coming. All modern states have an enduring interest in the demography of their population in particular its increase or decrease resulting from birth and mortality rates on the one hand and immigration or emigration on the other. They are also concerned with its uh, geographical distribution. To be sure, taxation and conscription are factors that determine uh, such an interest. Beyond this, however, the demographic characteristics of a nation are undoubtedly one of the long-lasting factors determining its political and economic future. It must be considered that uh, because of an experience uh, of uh, deprivation from statehood, Armenians have not really paid too much attention to these issues until about a year ago when the current crisis has come to a the attention of uh, a few individuals. The paper I will be reading uh, was written and published uh, years ago in 2002 uh, and I must say that since then the situation that I will be describing has further uh, worsened. Okay. The 20th century started uh, for Armenians uh, with two uh, major uh, catastrophes. It started with a massive refugee crisis resulting from the Armenian genocide, as you know, and uh, it ended with a second uh, massive uh, refugee crisis uh, resulting from various ethno-territorial conflicts in the Caucasus, uh, the main one being, of course, the mountainous Karabakh conflict, uh, but there are also conflicts in Abkhazia, in uh, Chechnya, where the Armenian population has uh, suffered significantly and been displaced. 
It must be said that these movements of population, as uh, one scholar puts it, is uh, probably a phenomenon that is particularly striking in the modern era, and that scholars suggest that it is part of modernity, whatever modernity might be. Academics like this type of word, uh, modernity, postmodernity, and so on. It's a bit difficult usually to define exactly what uh, those entities uh, are. Between these two waves of refugee crisis at the beginning of the uh, century and at the end of the century, one should insert the period of massive emigration <clears throat> from the main communities of the Middle East. This essay will outline the main demographic trends of the Armenian people in the post-genocide period and the evolving uh, uh, distribution of the Armenian population, first between the homeland and the diaspora, and second among the diasporic communities themselves. Its goal is to, is to reflect on the contemporary consequences of these trends. So I will outline a number of trends, and every time I will mention this is the first trend and give you a sense of what it is by summing up uh, what I have uh, written. The first trend for, uh, in the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century uh, is the slow concentration of the Armenian population in the homeland from the 1920s to about 1989. This is the first significant trend in the 20th century. Actually, it can be said that the concentration went on up to about the end of the, uh, the second part of the 70s. Since 1920, the Armenian population of Soviet Armenia has constituted from approximately 30 to 47 percent of the total Armenian population in the world. This is an estimate for although Soviet censuses are uh, quite reliable, uh, they are not devoid of problems, but overall you can rely on them, uh, we, we don't have hard, solid uh, demographic data about the diaspora communities. We have guesses. One person will tell you there are one million American Armenians in America, in the United States, another one will tell you 800,000. Uh, if you go to France, there are half a million, uh, you know, 500,000 Armenians in France. Well, just prove it, you know. Uh, so uh, the problem with these estimates is that you have to come up with something that seems to be uh, reasonable. And uh, this is what I will be doing by relying on the opinions of a number of scholars. So the data for the diaspora is not uh, of utmost reliability. It's an approximation. Hmm? The general trend from 1920 to 79 was toward an increase of the ratio of the Soviet Armenian population in relation to the total Armenian population in the world. According to one source, in 1925 there were 750,000 Armenians living in the Armenian Soviet Socialist Republic, while he estimated that there were about 1.7 million Armenians uh, living outside the homeland at that time. Another scholar uh, changes the data approximately, you know, it's a slightly different data. But the main idea is that at that time, around 1925, uh, in Armenia you had about uh, 31 to 32 percent of the Armenian population living in the world and the rest lived outside uh, Armenia. By 1976, the Armenian population of the uh, Republic amounted to about 47.3% of the total Armenian population in the world, a significant increase by about 16-17%, you know, the, uh, compared with the earlier figure. Uh, that is, at that time there were 2.6 million Armenians in Armenia itself, the Republic, out of a total, estimated total of 5.5 million Armenians in the world. The percentage of Armenians 
living in Armenia in relation to the total Armenian population was about 46.3% uh, 